Lesson 3 David Copperfield goes to a new school. Put a tick if the sentence is correct or a cross if it is wrong. David has arrived happy and content in Dover. Wrong. Agnes was mostly impolite with David. Right. Dr. Strong could cut apples and potatoes in strange shapes. Wrong. Gradually, Mr. Dick and Dr. Strong became good friends. Right. David's ears in Canterbury were sad ones. Wrong. Answer the following questions. What kind of a man was Dr. Strong? Dr. Strong was a truly learned man who loved learning and always treated his students kindly and justly. Why did David feel that he was different from the other boys? David felt different from the other boys because his life was different from theirs. Unlike them, David never had regular schooling and he was not familiar with their games. How did David get along with Mr. Wigfield and Agnes? David got along very well with Mr. Wigfield and Agnes. They were polite and kind in their behavior with David and always helped him in need. Why was Mr. Dick very popular among the boys? Mr. Dick was popular with the boys because he engaged them in games and activities. He took them to fly guys. He would also cut apples and potatoes into the strangest shapes and could make boards and hats of, out of paper. Why does David say that his ears in Canterbury were happy ones? David says that his ears in Canterbury were happy ones because he had a lonely time with the bunch of people he liked. He learned many things during those years and enjoyed the company of the people he was surrounded by. Choose the correct answer and fill in the blanks. Dr. Strong's school had a great reputation. Dr. Strong introduced the young boy as Trotwood Copperfield. David spent seven years at Dr. Strong's school. The half holiday in the school was on Wednesday. Mr. Dick had a great respect for Dr. Strong. Use the correct possessive pronoun. She often reads book. He is watching TV. We are listening to the radio. It is running. He is driving his car. She has a brother. Use the correct possessive pronoun. Janet has already eaten her lunch, but I am saving mine until later. My mobile needs to be repaired, but it is working. We gave them our telephone number and they gave us this. My pencil is broken. Can you can I borrow yours? My computer is old, but yours is new. 
in the following sentences mark the countable noun with c and uncountable nouns with u the children are playing in a garden children is countable noun i don't like milk milk is uncountable noun water is good for health water is uncountable noun scientists say that the earth is threatened by pollution countable noun is scientist there are many windows in our classroom windows is countable noun